There's been a lot of little drama stories going down on TikTok lately, and we need to talk about them. From Michaela being called out yet again for her sponsorships, Manny MUA being called out over his assistant quitting on him, and Selena Gomez returning to TikTok and instantly getting into drama. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Recently, people on TikTok have become much more aware of undisclosed sponsorships and deceptive reviews. We're seeing more influencers than ever before being called out for these dishonest ads, and Michaela is the biggest offender. Last week, she posted a video reviewing DP Hue and their line of hair glosses. In the video, she starts off with clearly very dirty, unwashed, and disheveled hair. By the end of the video, after using the gloss, she had clean hair with a blowout, and a lot of people think she's being deceptive. I've been putting my hair through a lot, and it needs a little love. I mean, even Lulu's hair is shinier than mine. I'm gonna try this DP Hue Glossy Glaze. It is a two-minute at-home conditioning glaze. As a hair amateur, this seems very easy to use at home. Let's hop in the shower and see what we can do. Just so you know, this is my hair before the treatment and it is lacking in every department. I mean, it was dull, rough, it lacked smoothness and shine. So to do the treatment, first you shampoo your hair, get it nice and clean. After the shampoo, I went right in with the glaze. I just applied it to different sections of the hair, and then I massaged it in with my hands from root to tip. Extremely easy process, and it says it lasts up to three washes. Guys, when I tell you my jaw is still on the floor from these results, I could not believe this difference is drastic, bro. My hair looks and feels so beautiful. Definitely check it out at Ulta.com or DPU.com. It's worth it. It seems like at first, this video wasn't even disclosed as being an ad because there's tons of comments being like, aren't you supposed to put paid partnership on ads? And $10 says this is an undisclosed ad. And people are calling Michaela out on the fact that she started with dirty hair and made her hair look as bad as possible and ended with clean, blown out hair to show the results. Should have just washed and air dried your hair like the first clip. Not a fair comparison. Everyone's hair always looks like that when it's dirty. We see your hair online when it's clean and it does not look dull. This is the one thing I will never understand about creators like Michaela. This gloss is apparently a really good product all on its own. She didn't have to start off by making her hair look as bad as possible and end with this like professional looking blowout. She should have compared it to when her hair is clean without the product versus her hair clean with it. It's not a fair comparison and Michaela already has shiny straight hair to start off with. People are just fed up with these deceptive ads and it's not really helping the brands either. Next, let's talk about Manny MUA and his assistant drama. Last week, Manny posted a TikTok venting about how his assistant quit on him over email and gave him no notice. He said that he really liked this assistant, she had been in his house, he trusted her, and it felt strange for her to quit in the way she did. Do people not put in their two weeks anymore? Is that not a thing? So her shift starts at 11 o'clock and it was about 11.20, 11.30, and I texted her, I'm like, hey girly, where are you at? An hour past her shift, and I was like, oh my god, is she okay? Like, I started to get really worried, for real. So it's 12 o'clock, still nothing. No text back, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? I go look at my emails, because I'm like checking my email right now, and I see an email from her, like, three hours prior. So basically, the email reads, hey, I've loved working with you, but I got a better job. Deuces. And it was like, onboarding starts immediately, can't come in, you'll never see me again. I was like... I was flabbergasted, I was floored, I was shook. She wasn't with me for long, she was only with me for one month, but like, I really liked her a lot. And don't get me wrong, I'm very happy for her because she got a job doing something that she really wanted to do, like, like that was her goal in life to do, she got it, and I'm like, I'm very happy for her, but I'm sad for me. So real question for you guys, do people not put in their two weeks anymore? Is that like not a thing? Is it like, let's just quit right now and no two weeks? Now, Manny actually got a lot of backlash for this video. Tons of people in the comments were trying to explain to him how if you were ever to get fired from your job, the company doesn't have the same courtesy of giving you notice. Here's what people had to say. When we get fired, employers don't give us two weeks. 
two weeks isn't a thing. If an employer doesn't have to give two weeks to fire, neither does the employee. With this generation, they don't do the two week thing. A lot of people also explained in the comments that you only really give two weeks if you want to leave the company on good terms and want to have them as a reference on your resume. Since his assistant didn't work with him for very long, she probably didn't care to use him as a reference and just took the new job. A lot of people have also said if you're a bad employer, then a lot of the times people will just quit with no notice or anything. But Manny says that's not the case. One person wrote, I recently quit my job at Alta and didn't put in two weeks because of what the job slash GM did to me mentally. And Manny said, oh, that part. See, I'm pretty chill to work for though. People have been stitching Manny's video and giving him some insight into why she may have left. Hey Manny, there's a few reasons why people don't give two weeks anymore. And the answer to your question is no, people don't give two weeks anymore. First, the pandemic. People learned that jobs don't really care about them, so they are no longer giving that same care and effort to jobs. Second, they also realized that they're not given two weeks notice when they're being fired, so why should they give that same courtesy back? And most people who leave without two weeks notice have a reason. You said later in your video that she emailed you three hours before her shift or three hours before you read it. Somebody who's happy in their job and, you know, respects their employer is not going to do what that person did. It might be time for you to kind of reflect internally and see why maybe that person left. Is there something that you could have done differently as an employer, better hours, better pay, whatever the case may be. If she was just going for a better job and not because of something you did, she probably would have called you and said, hey, this is the opportunity I've gotten. This is why I want to leave. But instead, she sent you an email before her shift and said, I'm out. Manny ended up making a follow-up video, and he explained his situation a little bit more. The assistant before this assistant was with me for two years, and she put in her two weeks. So I was like, oh, is that not a thing anymore? I have officially been informed that two weeks is no longer a thing because companies do not give two weeks when they fire someone, which I feel is very fair, actually. Extremely, extremely fair. Like, absolutely, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and like I said in my first video, she found an amazing new job like a full-time job. That's something that she really, really wanted to do. So I totally support her and I understand where she's going. I'm like, baby, you do what you gotta do. I was just sad for me. <laughs> People are like, that was a red flag. Manny's a red flag. She quit after a month. Oh my God, Manny's a red flag. Get him. I'm pretty, I'm pretty chill to work for, I swear. <laughs> but you know what? She got a better opportunity and so go her. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys still think the two week notice thing is just a considerate thing to do and should be done? Or do you have the mindset of they don't give us two weeks, so why should we give it to them? Finally, let's talk about Selena Gomez. Selena returned to TikTok this week after a few months break off the app, and it looks like she's already found herself in a bit of drama. The other day, Selena posted what seemed to be this innocent picture of her and her friend eating ice cream. But people quickly realized Selena was wearing a Balenciaga sweatshirt and she started to receive a ton of backlash. Selena Gomez is getting major backlash for wearing a Balenciaga sweater, so let's talk about it. So Selena Gomez posted this throwback photo on her Instagram story of her and her friend eating ice cream. And some of her haters quickly noted that in the photo, she's wearing a Balenciaga sweatshirt. And given the recent controversy with Balenciaga, they took this as an opportunity to bash Selena Gomez. As you guys know, Balenciaga was canceled last year over a campaign shoot they did for their spring 2023 collection. The campaign featured kids with these purses that definitely weren't kid friendly. And the background of the campaign had stuff like alcohol and other things laying around. People were outraged over these photos and many people called on celebrities like Kim Kardashian to stop working with Balenciaga and to protect the kids. So when Selena posted this picture of her wearing a Balenciaga sweater, people were mad. But it turns out this photo was actually a throwback photo from 2018. Selena addressed the backlash on TikTok and wrote, While I have everyone's attention, I did not mean to offend anyone by my last Insta post. It was from 2018 slash 2019. I'm so sorry for my mistake. 
And a lot of people came to Selena's defense and said even if it was a new photo, she shouldn't just not wear what she bought and throw at a sweater that she already spent the money on. The brand already has her money from it, throwing it out won't really do anything except maybe hurt the environment and people don't want that. Selena did end up deleting the post and it seems like everyone has moved on. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.